Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure Functions app with Azure App Configuration. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. And in here I'm going to select my previous resource group. In here I'm going to select the name. Like this, you can select any name. You can select it, any region. I'm going to go with Central US. And I'm going to go for free tier this time. Next, tax. And I'm going to click on review, create. And I'm going to click on create. It will submit the deployment and after the deployment finishes, we'll navigate to the, the resource when it's created. And I'm going to go to the settings of this resource to proceed further with this video. All right, it is done. I'm going to go to resource and I'm going to click on access keys under settings. And I'm going to click on show the value and I'm going to make a note of the primary read only key connection string. We will use this connection string later to configure the application to communicate with the app configuration store that we created. I'm going to pause this video, click on show values and copy the primary, primary read only key. Okay, now I'm going to create a function app. I am going to launch the portal again. You can go to the home or open up a new browser window and click on your portal. You can either create the function app from the Visual Studio. Let's see if I create it, Visual Studio. I'm going to launch the Visual Studio. So Visual Studio, the Azure Functions project template in Visual Studio creates a project that we can publish to a function app in Azure. You, we can use a function app to group functions as a logical unit for easier management. So you can click on project here, create a new project. It will launch it. Okay, now in the search for templates, I'm going to type in Azure Functions. You see Azure Functions selected. You can give it a project name here. You can function app one. Function app one. Create. So let me go with the HTTP trigger. Click on it. You will get this now. Click on here and click on Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. I searched for Microsoft.extensions.configuration.azure app configuration. I am going to click on it.
and install it. I'm going to click on my function function app one on which I want to install it. I click on install. It is installing it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, click on OK here. I accept. It is installing the NuGet package. Done. Now you Now I will open this function 1.cs file. I will exit out of this and now I will add the namespace of the .NET Core configuration and the app configuration provider. Using Microsoft dot extensions using namespaces. Here, I will add uh, the namespaces of the .NET Core here. Add here. Save. And now what I'll do is, I will also add a static property named configuration to create a singleton instance of I configuration. Then add a static constructor to connect to app configuration by calling add Azure app configuration function. This will load configuration once at the application startup. The same configuration instance will be used for all the calls later. Mm-hmm. Now when you see this here, you then you see the connection string here. So this setting and you see this builder dot Azure app configuration here. So this setting is this one. The read only keys. So if I go here, this is the connection string that I can pick and can insert over here, right? So that the values will be picked up from here. Whatever changes I make. So this is how you use the Azure app configuration to deploy to the Azure function app using the Visual Studio. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.